Mark from Vortech Pro. We're back making videos. Tommy and I have decided we're probably going to try to make as many videos of the engines I run across the dyno and the engines we build in the shop as possible. So today we've got a 496. And like I said, in the future we're going to try to video as many of these builds as possible. And in the comment section, if you have questions, feel free to ask them because I will answer them or do my best to answer them. So what we have today is 496. It's a 4250 stroke scat crank. We've got a 4310 bore with a, this is a Autotech forged piston with a scat 6385 rod, 1515 3 millimeter ring back. Uh, this particular engine's 10 to 1 compression a little higher than what we normally build, but it's going to be used in high altitude. So that's why we raise the compression. And we'll start from the bottom of the motor as a Moroso pan. Again, scat 4250 stroke, 6 or 85 scat rod, race tech, forged piston. Uh, the timing chain is a roll master. And the cam's an ISKI hydraulic roller, which would be 228, excuse me, 238, 248, 578, 608 on a 110 lobe separation. We try to install it on a 105 to 106. Generally, we can get it in in that area. And then we use a morale, morale lifter. And on the valve train, we use a 80 wall chromoly push rod to Smith Brothers. We use a comp 3 8 guide plate with an ARP rocker stud. And your rocker arms are a Scorpion roller rocker. And basically the intake, what we generally use is perform RPM air gap. We do a little bit of work to it. Nothing crazy. Now when it comes to the heads, they're a GM 049 oval port head, production head. And we will go through, obviously, clean the head and inspect it before we do any machine work on it. Make sure it's suitable for making this kind of power. We'll look at the core shift, uh, how it was cast, and that type of thing. After that, we'll install a bronze guide and hone it to size. And we would install a 2190 inch 880 stainless steel valve. They would be Ferrera. The valve springs are an 8005 ISKI with a Comp 780-16 retainer. Uh, generally we use a rotocoil eliminator on the exhaust and we'll use a spring locator on the intake. And typically a cylinder head like this will probably flow, have a peak flow of five, at 550 lift, it'll probably be around 315 at 28 inches. To give you an example, uh, the exhaust will be 230, 230 at about 600 lift. So we will set the CC depending on what we want the compression to be. It'll be anywhere from 121 to 119, depending on the altitude of where the engine's going to be run. So typically a motor like this will make 650 to 660 horsepower, around 660 pounds of torque. Your horsepower peak, if the heads, if you get the heads right, and the exhaust port comes out good, it'll typically come in, peak at around 6200 RPM. That's what we're generally looking for. This one peaked at 62, 6300, which is good. Uh, it's tested with an 850 Holley. We have a 1040 Maxima conventional oil in the pan. And on the oil pan, we did do modifications to control the oil. So what we'll do is we'll run some videos for you. If you have questions, please feel free to ask me and I'll be, do my best to answer them.